question on if humans are influencing climate has been addressed. We have convincingly shown that um, the human-induced changes in the atmosphere, greenhouse gas increases, have changed the climate already. But there are many questions remain, for example, on how much of how much greenhouse gases really cause warming and how much of the warming that they cause has been counteracted by other effects. So we still cannot reliably estimate the exact contribution by greenhouse gases to the 20th century warming. So that is alone a really important question that remains and that is very relevant for predicting forward because you want to have um, the best possible observational constraint on future warming. Um, so that is a big question remaining. Other big questions are how does the energy in the cli climate system um, move around? So the energy increase due to the increase in greenhouse gases warms the atmosphere and the oceans. Sometimes it, the energy gets hidden in the or gets transported faster into the ocean, at which point the atmosphere doesn't seem to warm as quickly. So this kind of movement of the natural um, fluctuations in the climate system and how they move the energy around is still a, a big question even for um, large-scale climate change. And then of course um, changes in extreme events, um, changes in rainfall are still not that well constrained and we haven't fully understood um, what, what causes um, them to change. There the really big question is um, to what extent will the future changes in greenhouse gases and has the past changes in um, greenhouse gases influenced the big circulation modes of the atmosphere and ocean. No, this is an area where the models are not great. Nobody has yet shown convincingly that a change has been due to human influences. So since our weather and with it how we experience the climate is so much influenced by the atmospheric motions, um, this having not been able to do this yet is still a really big open question. Um, I find it really important and really interesting to, to talk to people and listen to the talks by people who work on, um, on the other aspects of climate change, for example, the legal consequences of climate change or, um, we've, um, or um, the um, economic um, methods to mitigate climate change. These are all really interesting questions and when you, when you talk to them you realize what aspects of my research is most helpful to them and sometimes I may be totally wrong in what I, what I think they need, it may not be what they really need. And I've been just at a, at a similar, at a, at a conference on extreme event attribution and we heard a lot about um, what, why journalists are interested in the causes of extreme events and um, in, to what extent the, the events have become more or less um, frequent and, and, and the understanding what people want to know about this is actually not as easy as, as one might think. So it is re I'm really looking forward to this.